An active investor here bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol MNKD. That's Mankind Corporation. The chart we're looking at today is a one day chart. Each candlestick on this chart representing one day of trading. So we go back to right around, be right around May, right around the beginning of May on this chart. You can see where we had that falling off here. And we had an earnings release and the conference and it looks like all that volume right by the earnings date they were not happy with their earnings. The market was not happy with earnings. Mankind sold off pretty hard, blew through one, two, three, four levels of support. Before coming back up, you can see a really nice candle on the day right here. This candle specifically, nice pin bar candle, but it didn't quite make it back up to support until almost a week later, or more than a week later actually, less than two weeks though. Came back up, this time it did try to come back down, bounced off support, and then it kind of floated in between this channel before getting a really nice uptrend here. But ever since that uptrend, it's been downtrending. We can see that with the trend line. So let's just kind of connect the candles here. You can see we were downtrending for a while. Let me change the color on that. Make it a little easier to see. So you can see we were downtrending for a while. Very steep slope there. Lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. And then we broke out of it right here. So mankind tried to come back around right here. And that's where we saw the first higher low, but it just wasn't quite enough. Instead of continuing on to make higher lows, it ran stagnant for a little bit and then dropped right back down. Once again, earnings and higher volume, though not nearly as high as the volume that we saw here. And then just kind of making an upside down U shape and selling off more and more each day after about a week from that earnings. So it hasn't been the best overall few days for mankind. Let's kind of remove those trend lines now. And I do see some news that was released. So it looks like on the 24th, there was some decent news, 24th being right around here, but we didn't really have a green day, unfortunately. There was a little bit of a 25,000 share purchase from Castagna. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And you know, that's not really the biggest purchase in the world, 25,000 shares at 94 cents. It is good news, but it's not exactly good enough. Um, there was also on the 16th, CEO of Pfeffer bought 25,000 shares of Mankind at 99 cents. So, you know, there was some interest there in Mankind, but once again, the fact that those sizes were so small, really not the best news. I mean, it is good news, but you're talking about less than $25,000 a pop for each purchase. In other words, it's almost irrelevant. And then we have a class action against mankind that was dismissed. So that should be good news. Let's see here. Uh, Valencia, California, Mankind Corporation announced that the United States District Court for the Central District of California has dismissed the class, the class action that was pending against Mankind Corps and two of its executives. The court granted the defendant's motion to dismiss the plaintiff's amend class action complaint without leaving to amend, thereby closing the case. All right, so you would think that we would see a little bit of a pop due to that news. And the shares did rise 1% in the pre-market, but then they continued to sell off a bit as well. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. You know, two bits of good news. We had a little bit of a pop and then continuing to sell off. You know, it's, it's, it's good news, but it's not the good news that we want for mankind. We want to see what they're doing. We want to see what they're doing with the Frieza. We want to see sales. When they were making all that PR about their marketing and hiring new marketing officials, executives, et cetera, et cetera. That's when we saw Mankind doing well, and that's when we pushed well over a dollar to the $2 area. But they haven't been that active on social media recently. You know, maybe they have a lot to deal with, and I'm sure they do, since they are still dealing with that case against the Nafi. So we'll see what it brings. The technicals are not looking that good right now, though. We have the 50 average above the 20 above the 10, which is the bearish order, and our RSI is also looking pretty ugly. You can see we went oversold here. We also went oversold here. Both averages were oversold. So it is a lower oversold point. And then the prior oversold point was all the way back up here. So definitely a downtrending oversold, meaning that when the price is oversold and the market is sold off, that's when you want to see a little bit of a bounce. Incidentally enough, you'll see when we went oversold here, we had a little bit of a bounce. When we went oversold here, we had a little bit of a bounce. And now we're once again oversold. And we're not really bouncing back yet. We're still selling off. So we could see a bit of a bounce. But what I'm saying is even if we do see a bit of a bounce, let's say it comes back up to the support level, it's still going to be lower than the bounce here 
and lower than the bounce here from when we were oversold. So we really need to see a higher oversold point, meaning we're oversold here, and then we go overbought, and the next oversold point, if it's somewhere above 95 cents or a dollar, then we'll be breaking out of this downtrend, and then our averages will start curving up to look more bullish. So definitely gonna be watching mankind. So far, I'm not gonna be day trading this, but it is on my radar. Um, I would like to see this get a bounce since it is starting to get pretty low there. Coming to that low that it made at 64 cents. We're not that low yet, but we are at 83 and a half. So hopefully this thing is going to start bottoming out and we can start to see, start to see it recover in more of a bullish trend. So that's all I have to say about mankind right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you're not already. I would appreciate it and I'm sure you will enjoy the content that I will publish as well. I sure hope you do, and I hope to catch you around. Have a good one.